Hey guys, it's me Odizio and welcome to episode 2 of this brand new hardcore let's play series. So before I turn around and show you what's behind me, make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below to see more of this amazing content. And of course, hit that like button if you want to see more videos like these. So with that out of the way, let me show you what's behind me. Here we go. In between episodes, I've been busy as you can see. I've built ourselves a little house. Well, if we're going to be spending the rest of this series on this server, we might as well have a little free house where we can live in. And I've got this kind of flower garden in front of the bedroom and I've got me some sugarcane growing. Over here, I've even got myself a uh, little boat dock. How cute is this, right? How cute is that? And in here, I've also spent some time underneath the surface. So there you go. We've literally got iron and redstone for days. And you see here, I've got 16 diamonds. Let's have a little flashback to how I got those. Flashback. So you guys remember where I finished last episode, right? Now it turns out in the back of this mine, there were even more diamonds. So of course, at that moment, I couldn't be more happy. And then later on when I was mining at uh, level 11, I've got a video over that on uh, my channel, so go check that out. I was mining and I found out that this is exactly the way you want to be mining for diamonds. So if you're having trouble finding diamonds on your survival world, go check out that video. Okay, so let's get back to the video then. End of flashback. Okay, so for this episode, I've got quite some things planned. So I've went mining just because I needed two diamonds to craft the following. I've also got some um, obsidian already made. Oh, I think I still need to get some books, right? Do I have any leather? No, I don't. So I guess the first thing that we're going to do is then go kill a cow, I guess. Yeah, we're going to go kill a cow. Now, hopefully there is a cow. Do some little parkour on top of these trees. Oh, look! What's that guy? He's like from the Middle East or something because he has like these alpacas and... Oh, I can trip... Dude! How, how do I g get in like to there? Can I kill him or...? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go kill that cow first and then we'll go check out that um, villager or whatever it is. I'm sorry cow, but I need one leather. Thank you very much. Now, should I kill him or not? What should I do? Because if I kill him, do I get those um, those leads or, or those... What, what are these called? But you know what? It's not actually too good of a traitor. So I guess I'm going to kill him. <laughs> so, so I can hear the alpacas. Oh wow, they actually hurt? They're, they're um, spitting on me. You, you little bastard. Oh, dude, dude, do you see that? They drop a lead. That's amazing. And they also drop leather. Dude, that is exactly what we wanted. All right, perfect. The episode couldn't have started off any better. Great. All right, so I should have maybe taken the boat. Oh, well, I guess we'll just be swimming then. So, as I was saying, I also want to make a clock. That's why I got uh, some redstone and some gold so that I can just keep track of night and day so that I know when to head back home, of course, to get in my bed. So, I think we need four gold, if I remember correctly. And the recipe is something like this. No, this. Yeah, okay, there we go. So, we'll keep that in our inventory. Do we have sugar cane? Of course we do. And now... I think paper is something like this. No, it's you not suck. like this then. Okay. Let's make a little bit more. And of course, we've also got this green crafting recipe book here. So we should be fine. And yep, there we go. That is a book. So let me make a few. There we go. And a... You suck. Uh, oh no, the, the diamonds are like that, right? Yeah, I guess so. There we go. So over here, I got this little cute bedroom. I've even got a little flower pot there, as you can see. And up here is the attic. 
which is still to be decorated. And that is because I want to have like an enchanting place over here. So you know that um, the books shelves are going to go like that. Then you want to have a space and then you want to have the enchanting table and we'll have like an anvil over on this side maybe. So yeah, I guess then um, what's left to do is go find some more animals. I think we want to get ourselves like um, a chicken farm, um, a potato farm would be nice as well. Like a horse. Oh yeah, I really want to have a horse. You know what? Let's just make birch fences, right? There we go. Well, that was stupid of me because the fence thing uh, recipe got updated because it's not like six sticks like it used to be. So th did I just make... Oh, crap, dude. You suck. So it still is the old recipe then? No? So maybe it's like this. Okay, so yeah. And now I have 16 birch fences. That is amazing. Now, I was thinking that this episode we might want to go like to um, a swamp where we can get uh, slime so that we can craft one of these leads. But you see, when you already have leads, you don't have to go slime hunting. So I guess, can I take two at the same time? Yeah, perfect. All right. So I hope this works when I double sprint. Yes, it does. Perfect. And we just then need two of each kind, right? So we're going to be like a kind of Noah. There we go. Frick. Crap, dude. Where did they... Did I just lose my leads? You can't be serious. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're Did fine I just lose them? Not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, so second try then. Where is the other one? Where is your neighbor? All right, come with me. Dudes, come with me. Nope. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Come with me. Jump up. Yep, there you go. There you go. Alberto. Yep, come. Nope. Dude, this is so annoying. Come up here. All right, thank you very much. Now, it is also getting nighttime really quick, so I want to get this done and over with as soon as possible. Nope. And of course, the other sheep. Has. You know what? I'm just gonna sleep so that it becomes daytime again and then we'll carry on what we were doing the first thing in the morning. The next day. There you go, Alfonso. Got your neighbor. Alright. Peace out, suckers. Now I guess I want to get myself... Hey, look, there's another sheep. Um, What should I get myself next? A cow, right? Okay, so I've got a little basic pen here going as you can see. Now I did see something special that I want to show you. So I haven't been down there yet because I wanted to show you guys. So I'm going to take my boat real quick because it's just behind this little island. I don't know how, I, how I've not seen it yet because it's actually pretty big. So I hope there is some good loot down there because we might also need some name tags, of course, to start naming our animals. Here you go, so this is a capsized boat or something, I think. Uh, and there is a chest in here, which I haven't opened. Crap, dude, just feathers and another treasure map. Hey guys, let me know what I, what I have to do with those treasure maps, because I really have no idea what to do with them. Like, is there some important information on there or is it just like, I don't know, for decoration? Oh, another chest. What do you know? Some more diamonds. All right, I'm gonna take those any day of the week. There we go. Um, is there any more? I guess not. On the other ship, we also got two chests, right? So I think we won't be able to find anything else. So then what we're gonna do is head on back to our little cozy island. Okay, so now before we do anything else, let me just make a basic set of iron armor so that we have a little protection at least from mobs if we ever get ambushed. 
And then what I'm gonna show you guys next is something OP. So when you build that, we've basically then won, won the game. So now I may need to make a few things to do that. So I'm gonna need that, um, a pressure plate. So most of you guys probably already know what I'm gonna be making. Now, how do I make an iron pressure plate? Nope. No, crap, I, I need to make um, a trap door. How do I make a trap door? Okay, let me look that up. Okay, so I've gathered everything that we're gonna be needing. Now, as I said before, this is really OP, okay? So when you're in a survival or hardcore world, you really wanna make this. So first of all, make a uh, trench, which is three blocks wide, all right. Put down the chest inside the first uh, block and a hopper facing into that chest. Now, thanks to the new update, you can actually waterlog blocks. So you can do this. You see that the water is actually in the same block as the fence post is in. All right, now you wanna place down your pressure plate. It doesn't matter which type of uh, wood that is. So you can be free to use any wood you like. And now you wanna put down your um, no block is what it is. Put down a help block just so you can place this trap door in uh, this direction so that it opens when you step on that pressure plate. Now you can break that, there we go. All right, and now you wanna go stand here with a fishing rod in your hand and you wanna actually keep right clicking the no block. So you see, I'm gonna keep right clicking. Now when a fish hooks, it is gonna get automatically retracted because this pressure plate is going to activate, the trap door is going to close and I'm gonna retract my fishing rod. So now you can actually head into your options and um, remap your right mouse button to let's say your space bar for, for um, just the time that you wanna be AFK fish farming so that you can then place a heavy item on top of your space bar and then you can um, just keep right clicking. So let me just turn down the uh, sound on this so that I can show this to you guys. Now I'm just gonna keep right clicking on that block now I'm just waiting for the fish to hook so that the trap door closes and that I can demonstrate then how I will retract my fishing hook. There you go. So you saw that the uh, trap door closed and now that there should be... Hey, look at this. This is actually pretty good on our first catch. Look at this. All right. So this fish farm is absolutely broken. I definitely recommend you build this on your Minecraft world. Okay, so I guess I'm going to end the video right here. I want to ask you guys one more thing. If we get 300 subscribers by the end of this month, I'm going to do a real special video and it's going to be something big. Okay, so make sure you subscribe to see more videos like these and hit the like button if you liked and enjoyed this video. But for now, I'm Rodizio and I'll see you in the next one, guys.